Hello new friends and old friends. How are you guys doing? Today we are on a special mission guys. If you follow my Instagram you might have seen uh, this picture. Yeah that's my tire and that a screw in it. And the screw is still in there by the way so the tire is kind of holding air for now. I'm actually taking it to the tire repair shop so they patch it for me because yeah, I don't really have the tools and apparently it's not even expensive for them to do it so I'm just gonna see how it looks like and that's about it but yeah, what an irony, you know I was going off-roading just the previous week I was panicking about my tire popping <laughs> and here I am one week later <sighs> whatever I'm kinda taking it easy since you know, I have a hole in my tire. So we got our tire fixed, finally. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm not really sure what to do because like everyone on the internet is saying that if you just patch a tire it's not worth the shit and that you should buy a new tire like ASAP my dad told me he once had like several patches just like this in his uh, truck, he used to drive a truck you know, the, the big ones lorry or whatever you wanna call them and like he he didn't, he just didn't buy a tire, you know and it was fine, so I think I won't even buy a new tire but I just don't understand why people are always saying that you should buy a new tire maybe it's because they do it at home and I don't know I had it done professionally, it was 10 euros, oh, it's a perfect day for riding guys, I've been waiting for this all winter long, <laughs> I'm sure we all have, with a few exceptions of course, a few California riders in Australia and shit, uh, I envy you, I mean even though I can ride pretty much all winter, it still gets pretty cold here, so, but I'm not bitching. At least I can ride. Uh fuck, 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 fuck. We gotta get ahead of that truck, guys. So, here we go. Yeah! Mission accomplished! <laughs> so, here it is. I tried to wheel in my bike the other day and... The rear tire just spun out. It was pretty scary, but I live to tell the tale, so that's, I guess, important. I don't know if the road was bad or tires are bad or some shit like that, but I kind of shit my pants a little bit on that one. And I tried it like three times in a row, of course, on the same roads. That kind of sucks. I guess I'll just have to find another spot to learn my wheelies on which are hard enough to come by as it is Oh, and some more trucks, we'll get ahead of them No worries Don't worry my dears, we will pass those guys as well. Too many cars, fucking hell, can't even overtake. So 636 Yusef was asking the other day, what makes you raid when you're on your bike, something like that. I'll put his video down in the description. And this right here is what makes me rage the most when I'm on my bike, like, always. It, wo it always gets me. When I have to ride slowly behind 
just anything really truck car whatever and I can't overtake them and this is still a bit better when I'm you know on the bike because you can overtake much more easily when you're on the bike but when I'm in a car it's just awful so this is the reason why we're going so slowly guys oh it's green green five four three two yeah we got it no worries funny enough this is the only crossroads left in copper that still has a set of traffic lights on it they've rearranged all the other crossroads into roundabouts like this one like all of them <laughs> Don't go, you bitch.